Hi everybody and welcome to the second video of our ORCAD Capture SYS software tutorial. In this video we will discuss how to create a new resistor part and add it to our new library that we have created in the previous video. So let's start. As we can see from the previous video that we have a new library that is called library1 that we have created and now we would like to add a few parts to it so right click on it click new part and now give your part a name for example we will call it a resistor give a common common prefix to resistor that is R and now click OK now what you've got is a window that enables you to edit your part so in order to make it things easier for us click options preferences go to grid display and get the grid style to be lines. Now, as far as we know, the resistor has two pins. Okay, so let's place pins. Click on the place pin. Give it a name of one and a number of one, for example. Click OK. And you've got two pins, just like you can see in the scheme. One pin and the second pin. And now we would like to draw the resistor itself. So how we how will we do it? First of all, click on the snapping tool, snap to grid, and that's what I call. Uh, it will make our life easier in the drawing part. And now zoom in using the control and the mouse, and click on the place line. Okay, place line, and start from the left pin. Okay, click release click release click release click release click release we're almost done okay it's just like the common resistor that you are uh, using in all of your studies and click escape <coughs> now you can see that it actually looks like the common resistor and what we would like to do is first of all click on the snap to grid to get back to our previous uh, option. Now zoom out and a little bit minimize your, uh, your part. Okay, just like this and just like that. Okay. What we would like to eliminate from this is our numbers, okay? I don't want to see them in our final scheme. So go to options, click part properties. And here you can see a few, property th few properties that you can edit. So for example, we would like to edit the pin name visible, okay? Click on it and click false. And then uh, you would like to get the pin numbers visible to be also false okay so click false and click OK and now you can see that the numbers have been disabled click on the save close and now you can see that in our library there is a new added part that is called the resistor and we will be able to use it in the next uh, in the next video that we would like to implement the electronic scheme. That's it for this video guys. If you like the video press the like button and the subscribe button. If you have any questions feel free to ask below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!